to do Fuji X-T2. And I have been slamming the hell out of this camera. I mean, I've been beating it like a red-headed stepchild since it got into my grubby hands uh, on uh, September the 8th. Uh, uh, <laughs> here we go. Um, on the prior two videos, you saw a lockup. Uh, you saw two, di two different lockups. I have since been unable to recreate that lockup, and the reason for that is, is that I can't say the Fujifilm lied to you, but uh, it has been lied to you in general that uh, you can use like the regular Fuji X-T1 battery. See, the difference is, and I don't have my voltmeter because someone is borrowing it right now, uh, the, the battery that comes with the Fuji X-T2 is the NP-W126S, uh, and the regular battery is the NP-126. Now, they're both rated for the same uh, 1260 uh, milliamp and uh, 7.2 volts. Problem being, I'm really good at diagnostic elimination. And the point is, and let me get to the pit, the heart of the matter, is that the Fuji, you can forget about those two prior videos of the lockups. I uploaded them to show you as proof of that is that if you plan on doing burst photography mode with just the camera and the reason I don't have the vertical grip is that uh, it just did not come in I uh, will get my grubby hands on it as soon as possible I've got uh, two Fuji X-T2's on order is that you cannot do burst photography with the X-T1 battery let's just put it that simple so if you think that you're gonna pop this in your Fuji X-T2 because when I got the camera obviously the uh, new battery that came with it basically had no charge so I was charging it and I stuck one of my X-T1 batteries in there and that's where I developed the two lockups it was not a card related issue okay and also by the way if you plan on getting the full potential out of the Fuji X-T2 without buying UHS-2 cards you are delusional See, even with the super fast Fuji, uh, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Nikon D500 here, which of course slot one is an XQD card, but slot two is just a regular um, SD card. Um, the nature of the beast is that I don't have to have super fast SD cards in this to basically get a bottomless buffer. Don't even think about buying regular UHS-1 cards for this if you plan on doing some hardcore burst photography. Now, obviously, I don't have this in boost mode since I don't have the vertical grip. The point being is that if you want to just take regular snapshots and stroll around, then using the X-T1 battery is fine, unless Fuji updates the firmware on this. Now, the firmware that I tested on the Fuji X-T2, the one that the representative brought by, was rocking for version 1.3.5, and I knew the latest release before the consumer and this is the consumer, you know, regular retail version. The last firmware was version 1.4.2, but mine says version 1.00. And uh, I think what for the consumer version, mine is not running rocking old firmware. Um, mine is what they did is the, for the retail version. I'm only assuming this, but I'm nearly 100% certain that the uh, that the consumer version of this camera was reset to version 1.00 while the pre-production firmware had its own sequence of uh, firmware and uh, so that's the answer to that one uh, almost uh, absolutely positive so the Fuji could maybe fix this with a firmware update but the point being is that the two videos that I uploaded showing the lockout on the uh, on doing the burst was because I was using the X-T1 battery which is here versus the X-T2 battery which has a different to discharge profile it also actually feels a little bit heavier too I think the cells in it are larger I actually I don't have a gram scale you know I'm not the person that keeps a gram scale around I'm obviously not one of those people so I don't know the exact weight difference but there is a definite weight difference so point being is that yeah and boy have I been impressed so far I have been kicking this camera you know straight to the wall and back again and I got some interesting stuff to report. Check out in the prior video, in the next video, and uh, we'll keep rocking and rolling. Okay, bye.